Okay, so in the last video, we set up Melee Search and we indexed all our documents using Laravel Scout. Now, again, if you're not using Melee Search, that's not a problem. You just won't have this nice fancy front end to play with. But that doesn't matter because everything we're going to be doing is through Laravel Scout. And all the commands I'm going to be using now in this video as well are all the same, no matter what back end you're using to power this. So now let's hook up our own front end for the search. So I'm going to open up our index.blade.php file and that's under resources, views, documents. And in here, this is where we have our upload button and we're looping over our documents and printing them out in a table. So what I'm going to do is put a search input at the top of this file alongside the upload button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of this container here where we're having the, the white background and the drop shadow. I'm going to make this a flex box and I'm going to say justify between now if you're not familiar what justify between means it means any elements inside of this div the browser is going to push them as far apart as possible so because we're only having two items in this it's going to push the first item to the left and the first item to the right so let's put in our search form and give this a try so above our upload button i'm going to create a new form here i'm going to give this a method of post and the action is going to go to a root and we've not created this route yet but i'll do it shortly and it's going to go to documents.search okay and then as with all forms in laravel we need to add in our csrf token uh, and now let's build up the form and i'm going to be leveraging the blade components that we have available to us so we can do an x input and let's give this some classes to style it out and i'm going to give this a margin of three and a border on the bottom and a pattern on the y of two and a pattern x three and let's say the text is going to be gray and it's going to be the darkest gray and let's get rid of the shadow so we're going to say shadow none uh, and then we need to give this a name and this is the name we're going to be picking up in our back end when this submit form is submitted so i'm going to give this a name and i'm going to give this a name of term so the search term being entered by the user we can just close that input off there and then underneath this input let's call the button component so we're going to do x button and then inside of here let's give this a class and we'll give this a margin left of three okay so now we have that in place let's first create our root and then take a look at this in the browser so let's open up our web routes and then I'm going to come down here and then above the resource here. And I find it's better to put it above the resource, any custom routes that don't fit in with the normal CRUD routes. And this is just to prevent it overwriting anything. So we're going to do a route. And I said it's going to be a post. And the URL is going to be documents forward slash search. And this is going to go to our document controller again and then as a second parameter in this array we can say what method and um, we're going to create a method called search and then we can give this a named root and i called this in the view documents dot search and you probably want to apply your middleware actually let's do that so i'm just going to copy the auth middleware here and paste it on here and let me just break this down onto a couple of lines so it's easy to read for you so we're making a new root of post we're going to documents forward slash search and that's going to go into our document controller and it's going to call a method of search which we've not created yet we're giving this a named root of documents.search so we can reference this in our views and then we're also applying our auth middleware let's check it out in the browser as you can see here it's pushed the search over to the left and the upload over to the right i forgot to give the uh, input button some text here let's quickly do that now for the input we have a button here let's just drop this on a new line let's say search i'll refresh again and there you go we have our search button so this is flexbox in action here because we've said justify between the browser's worked out how much space is between the two elements and it's pushed them to either side so if you added more and more elements in here if, if you've got that justify between property in there it'll give an equal gap between all of the items pushing one item far to the left one to the right and then it'll fill up the middle with other items but don't worry you don't really need to know about that as we're not adding anything else in in this series okay so let's quickly mock up our search method just so we can make sure that we're getting our term through correctly so over in our document controller and that's under app http controllers let's just come down to the bottom 
and create a new method. So down the bottom, I'm going to say public function. I'm going to call this search. And this is going to take in a request. And inside of here, let's just die and dump out on that request so we can make sure we're getting what we're expecting. Now let's try this out. Let's type something into the search. I'm going to type session in and then hit search. And you can see here we're dying and dumping on our request. We just go into that request and the parameters. We can see we're setting a term of session. So if you remember correctly in our index method, let's scroll up and look at this. Because it's very similar what we're going to be doing. So we're getting the documents and we're paginating them and then sending the view back. So let's just actually copy this now and then scroll down to the bottom and then paste this into our search method. So what we can do is instead of with here, let's do search and then we're going to search and then we want to say from the request, get us the term and we can still paginate as usual. And this will return it back to our index view. And let's just test this out and see how it works. So I'm just giving the page a refresh now and you can see here now it's narrowed down our documents and it's returning anything that's related to session. So obviously the document with session as the title has come out on top, but also our routing and our authentication document also reference session inside of them. So the relevant results are also returned. So let's just try this out again with something else. I'm just going to grab the word authentication here, paste this in, and then let's search for that. And you can see that returns as two documents. As you noticed in the previous search, these are ranked. So authentication is the top ranked and then middleware is the next ranked document. Now in the next video, I'm going to look at refactoring this away by creating a custom blade component. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to be demonstrating it here so I can show you how you can make custom blade components. And the benefit of this is you can then include this table anywhere you want in your application, just with a simple X hyphen and then the name of your component. So that makes it really flexible and it also ensure that your application can scale easily without you copying and pasting code. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates as and when future videos are released on this series. Also, check out the other series on my channel. I have a lot of Laravel related content on there. And remember, this course does come with some extra premium content that is completely optional. And that is over on Udemy. And I'll pop a link in the description with a 60% discount code for the first 100 signups. And you can watch the entire series straight away without any adverts.